This is the new Volkswagen ID7 Tourer, an estate version of the ID7 hatchback that has already represented a big uplift in VW's ID range. Now, the electric estate has been something of a niche, but BMW recently have come out with the new i5 estate, and Audi's A6 e-tron is also on its way. But for now, let's focus on the ID7, which is a little bit more at the attainable end of the market, but it's not at a smaller end of the market. That's because this is a big car at just under 5 metres long. It might make it shorter than the BMW, but due to a more intelligent use of space made possible from the ID7 Tourer's bespoke electric car platform, it's actually even bigger inside, with the larger boot and more rear seat space too. That extra space is liberated by the longer wheelbase and shorter bonnet. And in the back, whoo, there we go, <laughs> unlocks 605 litres of space with the rear seats up and a whopping 1,715 litres with the seats down. Now that is a little bit behind the latest Passat, but remember this is a slightly smaller car and that one is actually paired off with the Superb, which makes it absolutely enormous. There is one problem though, and that's the fact that there's no separate front storage for the charge cables. There is space under the boot floor, which is ideal in size and shape, but if the boot is full of crap as the state so often are, it'll mean getting access to them will be a problem. As with the ID7 hatchback, you can get your Tourer with two different battery packs. You can either get a base 77 kilowatt hour battery pack that has around 380 miles of range and 175 kilowatt DC fast charging that'll get the battery from 10 to 80% in about 28 minutes. Now above that is a further 86 kilowatt hour battery pack that gives you a whopping 426 miles of range and has the same 28 minute charging because it lifts the DC charging up to 200 kilowatts. So far so EV then, but VW has also made it clear that the ID7 Tourer has been designed not just to be an electric car but a practical family car too. As you'd expect, the ID7 Tourer does have many of the same design elements as the hatchback and around the front it's pretty much the same with the same LED headlight bar that runs right across the nose of the car. What is new however is the fully illuminated badge. As for the rest of it, I think it actually works better as an estate as well. It seems a bit better balanced and there's not that awkward roof line that plunges down towards the tailgate. Overall, I think it's a more sophisticated looking car. And even with this short bonnet, it still looks quite desirable, especially on these 20 inch wheels. Of course, something else that the ID7 has focused on, regardless of whether it's this new Tourer or the hatchback, is a real focus on interior quality. Now, BW says that it's focused both on materials and the design, and ensure that all the touch points are as you'd expect of a car of this price and size. And from in here you can tell there's definitely a step up over the ID3 and ID4. Not only is the dashboard itself more architectural, but the materials that they use are a lot more plush. There are more upholstered surfaces like here on the dashboard and soft touchy materials here on the doors. The digital interfaces are also a marked step up over the previous cars as well. Now they're all accessed through this 15 inch touchscreen which runs VW's new infotainment system which is very very good. Now those of you who like separate climate control functions will find it a little bit annoying that they are integrated into that screen, however it is big enough that they always stay static at the bottom of the screen. There are still temperature control sliders and the volume slider which are a little bit annoying but now at least they're backlit so it's not such a big deal. There's also a small driver's display in front of the steering wheel, which actually works brilliantly well. It's small, but crucially it gives you only the information that you need. There's also a little heads up display above it as well. Now Volkswagen has been pretty excited about integrating ChatGPT into its infotainment system as well. Now, annoyingly, it's not actually activated on this model because I was going to ask it some random question about the moons of Neptune or something, but what it means is that the virtual assistant is going to work a lot more effectively than they generally do on native systems. Space in the second row is, well, excessive for my short legs, but two adults will be absolutely comfortable back here, although three might be a problem in terms of width because the car is a tad narrow. Now this is also going to be a problem if you want to put three child seats right across the back bench. As a more pragmatic manufacturer, Volkswagen's transition to electrification has come under the spotlight and depending on who you ask, it's come with varying levels of success. But the ID7 Tourer really feels like it's right at the heart of modern Volkswagen. This is going to be good. More like this, Volkswagen.